to bathe in chocolate With and wine. wine. Yeah, you got it. It's the perfect holiday <laughs> idea. Thank you, Kelly. All right, thanks, Hey, Katie. by the way, I want to show you, I mentioned I was going to show you the way that I'm decorating the outside, both of the side of my house and behind my house. And these just arrived the other day, and I'm so excited that they're here. This is called the Star Shower. It's the deluxe motion outdoor LED light projector. You can use them indoors as well. Yes, I bought them, and why did I? Number one, really fast decorating, and a lot of pow, and a lot of impact. Number two, my nephew's getting married to his fiance in October, and the entrance to the reception's kind of boring. Well, there is a hearts version of this little cartridge that goes in, so I'm gonna use it for their wedding. Now, here's what makes our set different, and the reason I brought theirs, the hearts, is because you're getting more of the cartridges than anywhere else. So if you've seen this on infomercial, there's only 12. You actually get 24, and it covers basically every holiday you can think of. We've sold almost 15,000, and you know what's really cool? Um, the two-pack, unfortunately, is sold out. We are down to just the single, but you get such impact. It's very different than just the little lights. You have really clear images. They can be as big or as small as you want. You just back that thing up, and you have 24 different themes. And I'm telling you, it covers everything from Valentine's to Fourth of July to Halloween to birthdays. It's stars, there's snowflakes, and it's so cool. And I can't wait to put mine out because I just arrived the other day. But I just want to show you one of my favorites that I picked up very recently from HSN. I got on the air and I said, I need to get those. And they just arrived. So I just wanted to point that out. All right, so what's happening next? Well, with this is the big finale of our wonderful Deck the Halls event. And it's all about creating memories. I mean, that's what this time of season is. It's about celebrating spirituality, the holidays, um, and we've got the special items to be able to do just that. And we're now taking the last and final look at our magical snow globes. You know, I believe that is the small special details that creates magical holiday memories. It just flat out is. It's not always the big production. In fact, it's pretty funny. Most of the time, people forget the gifts. Like, I don't know what my parents bought me when I was 10. I have no idea. But you know what I do remember? I remember how passionate my mom and my dad were about decorating for the holidays. I remember we always got a massive tree. We had an old Victorian house. And I remember the big tree. I love all the ornaments that are handmade that we still have. And it's those things, those precious items that we had surrounding us that I remember. I don't remember the gifts at all. Those came and those went, but I do remember the magic that my parents created. Well, this is one of those things that help you create that magic. And it is the most beautiful snow globe that I think we've ever done. Not only is it just gorgeous in its design, but I want you to see it sits on the most amazing pedestal. So unlike a traditional snow globe that you've got to shake to have the magic happen, this has has lights from within, so it's this beautiful glow. It automatically has the snow flowing, and then it's based on a very updated pedestal design. So it's very, very different than a traditional snow globe that you'd find out there. Then there's magic even built inside. There's a timer, and it plays musical tunes. Now, if you pick up the nativity or the angel, you'll get more religious spiritual tunes. If you pick up the snowman or the Santa, those are more of the holiday classics that we're familiar with. And we have four available, so you have have the snowman. Here is the angel surrounding the nativity. Here is the Santa. I love this with the reindeer. And then finally you have the angel. This is another angel. And this I think is just perfect for truly any holiday. Maybe it's the birth of a baby. It could be anything like that. It's not specifically holiday, but it certainly works for the holidays. We have auto ship available, believe it or not. First time we've ever done that. And I'll share with you that in just a moment. But I'm going to get Alexander, my very special guest, to rejoin me to talk about how beautiful this is. Hello, darling. They had me kind of walk around. Well, you around. just come in any old way you want. I did a little tour. They had me come just this come way. Very... <laughs> and then and here voila. she is. Here I am. I came all the way around. I thought maybe they wanted me to exercise. How are you? What a great day. What a beautiful product that we were able to share with you. Mm. And this is our final presentation of the beautiful today special, which is this lovely snow globe. It's a twist on the traditional globe because you have fallen in love with the little globe lantern. Do you remember when we had that? And you loved it because of that mesmerizing, shimmering, twirling, 
snow globe glittering action that is going on inside each one. And just like what you're seeing on your screen, that is what you will see when you bring this home. What you're looking at right now is the angel. And the angel is our last uh, unit or, or, you know, motif that we're offering today that is on the white base. And it is a breathtaking show stopping angel. I love this angel. I love everything about her. I love her posture, the way she's holding that little dove in her hand and releasing it back to heaven. I love her dress, how she's got the little gold filigree that's going all the way around the skirt and really uh, the body of, of the skirt on the bottom of her lovely dress, her wings, her hair. I love that the gold shimmer it, that it is gold as it's cascading all the way around her. So this is our angel. We also have Santa Claus. Now Santa Claus is right here next to his reindeer. He has a bag full of gifts and presents. He looks like he's headed towards the sleigh. A tree was, is behind him. You can see all of that color. I mean, he looks like he even has an extra bag in the front with extra gifts. And he is headed towards the sleigh in this, you know, wintry, stormy night on Christmas Eve. And look, we even have this so one that we're cute. showing in front of you on the lovely black pedestal. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Then we also have the nativity. The nativity scene, what a wonderful way, mm -hmm. what a small footprint way to do the nativity scene in your home. And this one, we can see the angel has her arms wrapped all around the Holy Family, literally praying over Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. So if you want to be reminded the reason for the season, this is a way to bring in the nativity scene into your home or to share the story of Christmas with your children simply by having this lovely snow globe around you as you share that Christmas story with them, with your children, with your grandchildren. Gosh, how special would that be? And then last but not least, we have the snowman. And the snowman has a couple of fur babies in front of him, a couple of little bunnies. He's outside. He needs to stay cold, even though he'd love to have some warmer <laughs> weather, right? And then he also has the little tree. Each of these are just magical they are, uh, they kind of take you away. I, I always, I like to use the word mesmerizing or captivating. You're captured. Once you start looking at them, um, you're kind of waiting for the shimmer mm -hmm. to settle because you're accustomed to that, you know, little bit of disappointment with a snow globe when after shaking it, all of the snow starts to settle. That's not the case here. These are snow globes that really have shimmer inside that will never settle. They'll just continue twirling and cascading and dancing. You turn them on, they stay on for six hours, they work with a built-in timer, they also come with the batteries, and anytime I see something that comes with the batteries, that says to me, wow, this is going to be a wonderful gift. I don't even have to buy the batteries, I don't have to supply the batteries for myself, for my friends. Wonderful gift. Love the angel. Who couldn't use an angel mm -hmm. in our lives right now to Even protect as a night your children? Wonderful Beautiful. nightlight. I mean, the angel for me is like if you have a new baby coming to the family. A guardian. A, a guardian angel. Yeah. yeah. I, th th that one specifically, I think, is that is the most user-friendly year-round. You know, that one you never have to put away. That one you leave out in the baby's room or you leave it out in the guest bathroom. I, I don't think that one has to be hidden because it's just this amazing, very dramatic angel inside there. The other one I think it's a really easy one to give is the snowman because a lot of you decorate in snowman, which I know many people do. Yes, And yes. it's, you can leave it out all winter. So it's not like after the holidays you have to put everything away. I always get sad when I have to put my Christmas right. decorations I I away. I do it in layers so that it's not too much of a shock that <laughs> we're putting right. everything away, right. you know? And I just love the snowman because then that stays out as well. The most limited will be our Santa with the reindeer, though. So at this point, that is the most limited that we have. You know, you can go to someone's house and you can take them a bottle of wine and you can easily spend $30 on a decent bottle of wine. Guess what? You drink it. It might be okay. It's over with. Whoopie ding dong. Or walk to their home and hand them this wrapped in a beautiful present and a gift. And it really is something that every time they bring it out, they'll go, oh, remember Joe bought me that last year? Or, you know, Sally bought me this last year for Christmas and I just love it. I also think it's really neat though, especially on a cold winter evening when the snow's kind of falling down and it gets really brisk outside. You walk into your bathroom or you walk into a guest bathroom and there it is with the music and the lights and that sparkle and it's just mesmerizing. It's so cool. Or a kind of a dark little corner in your kitchen on a cabinet or under a cabinet. Again, you put it there and it just brings life and creates those amazing memories. If you've got family, friends, grandkids, nieces, 
nieces, nephews, children, this is what they remember. I don't know if you heard me say that earlier. I don't remember what my parents got me when I was 10 years old. Right, you're right, I don't either. I don't have a clue. I don't know, I, my parents were very generous at Christmas time. My dad was really very frugal all year long, but he loved Christmas. So we'd always make out good in Christmas. But honestly, I don't remember. But what I do remember is what my mom and dad did in terms of the biggest live tree you've ever seen in your life. The yeah. ornaments that we handmade that we still have. The that. things that my mom decorated with. The stockings my grandmother had that were about three feet tall. Oh my yeah, goodness. These, you know what's really interesting is those are the things you remember. Yeah. You don't remember that sweater you got. You don't remember. No. The only thing you remember that it's really good, you got diamonds. You know, if I get diamonds, <laughs> you're going to kind of remember that. But That's what our that husbands true? are for. <laughs> but really, it's my what my parents did and the effort they made yes. to make Christmas special that I hold so near and dear to my heart. Suzanne, you said it so correctly because I really can't remember a lot of the gifts that I received over the years, but I can remember my mom putting out the candy canes. We did a big thing about St. Nick. I think it was like December 13 or 14, mm -hmm. and we would receive um, really large, long candy canes. Uh, I remember her putting them out year after year. I remember the first plastic Santa Claus that we had. <laughs> the it was light a, up it was a light up <laughs> plastic Santa Claus that we had until the hole in his body was like, you know, this big and it was time to get rid of, of, of Santa Claus. So you're so correct that it's those little uh, traditions that they had with us mm -hmm. or it was the decor that they had with us, but that's what we remember. We have no idea what the gifts were. So this is a great way to bring something into the home uh, for yourself, for your children, for your grandchildren as a wonderful gift. Maybe you have a neighbor I was talking about Veronica. Veronica, forgive me. I'm sure you're probably happy I'm saying your name. But my mom's a widow now three and a half years. Dad went to heaven three and a half years ago. Well, Veronica has been a widow longer. And so Veronica is my, my parents' neighbor. And, you know, so now these two ladies with their homes and time and they love to decorate their houses because there's nobody in the house telling them what they can do. <laughs> If they exchanged something like this, I mean, they would be speechless, they'd be so happy. If I give Veronica this angel or this Santa Claus, I mean, I and she wouldn't be able, she would be so happy because these are the types of items that I know would make my mom so happy to receive as a gift, would make right. Veronica over the moon delighted to receive as a gift. She has a beautiful china cabinet filled with lovely glass items. She has all kinds okay. of lovely decor throughout the house. If you know you're that person, or you have a girlfriend or two that you play bridge with or you meet you know, at the club a couple of times a week and you get together with all the ladies and you play cards, give each one, that's it. Order three of the angels or maybe three of the nativity and that is the perfect gift. Nowhere else could you invest that amount of money for such a wow gift. True, and here's something else that I love is, think about just walking into your house on a cold winter night in the foyer. You know, when you walk into your, yeah. uh, open the door, and then maybe you have a little table, you can see it there. Wouldn't it be neat that it's on, and it's glowing, and it's playing music right, and greets you right when you walk in? I, again, make the memories for yourself, because I think many cases we do a lot for others, but why are we making those memories as magical for ourselves? So if you live all by yourself, and there's no one walking in your home lately, you know, this is so neat to walk in and just be greeted by it. Now, there's some technical things inside here that make it even better because it has automatic on and off, doesn't it? Yes, it has the timer that's built in. And sometimes we talk about, you know, all you have to do is set the timer. I don't even like to say set the timer because you really turn it on. Timer's already set. Once you turn it on anytime you want, the moment you turn it on, if I walked away from this unit right now and you know came back tomorrow morning, six hours later, it would automatically turn off. I love when daylight savings ends. I mean, during the summer, I love long summer days, but when it's winter and you're gonna hunker down in your home and the temperature starts to drop even a little bit. You know, we're here in Florida, so the temperature drops 68. <laughs> we're <laughs> delighted, okay? I mean, you know, we're we like, the boots ooh, out. it's really, it's cold, right? We're back in our boots, like, ooh, it's cold. Okay, but during that time when it's dark in the kitchen at six o'clock at night, this would be wonderful to have in the corner. If you have a kitchen island, if you have, you know, just that countertop space that you want to put this in the kitchen. I have been sharing that sometimes when we're decorating our homes, and Suzanne, I don't know, maybe you agree with me or not, the living room, 
loaded, decorated to the hilt. We've got the tree there, the family room, the dining room. Oh my goodness, it's Christmas galore, it's holiday decor. But then you have a handful of places in your home right. that, you know, it's like the redheaded stepchild, right? I mean, there's just nothing there. There's right. nothing there. It can either be the bathroom, your bathroom, the master bathroom. Sometimes you're looking in your office, if you have a home office, or your master bedroom, there's nothing in there. In That's theory, special. we think we're going to decorate it, and then for whatever reason, we forget to. This is the type of item, this beautiful little globe that you could put on the nightstand, you could put in either of the bathrooms, the master bath, you know, on the counter that you share with your husband. Even if it's a small bathroom, you could, you could actually put this in there. Oh, yeah. And definitely the kitchen. Because I was sharing that sometimes I have decor in those areas that are like, leftover decorations like I don't even know how they entered my home afterthought. <laughs> they're afterthought and I don't want that anymore I want to make sure I touch every corner of my home and if you're the same way or you've just had things that were old and too long and you're ready to bring in something fresh updated and uh, magical like this okay the Santa's the most limited I want to show you one other thing because these are almost gone oh the we pedestals really cool pedestal base I love this base yeah how many do I have left there Adam let's do a quick update we have <laughs> it in this beautiful black I have 800 left those will sell out tonight and we're going to end this whole big event at midnight it slowly rotates it's battery operated and it's automatic timer as well what's neat about this is it's way beyond just turning this beautiful snow globe um, I know Helen was saying earlier that she would put like um, candies on it, use the um, uh, Giannis candies. Also, th I thought, can you imagine putting a floral arrangement and make that the centerpiece of your Thanksgiving table? I can see if you have a figurine, if you have glass artwork that you love, this just slowly rotates anything you put on top of it. So if you've got all those wonderful things you want to kind of bring them to life, just grab this. And I think this is useful year round. It's not just something you'll use during the holidays because it can take anything that you have. Maybe it's a trophy that you're really proud of and you want it to spin, but I really love the idea of using this as part of your centerpiece decor for any occasion. So I just want to mention that there are now less than 800 remaining in that. The angel has the white base. And by the way, these are really weighty. I think when you see the price, you think, oh my goodness, these are going to be kind of little plasticky things. There is a ton of weight to these. So if you well, do four give pounds. them... They're not 40 pounds. Well, but I mean, but it's surprising. But no, you it, don't it, think... You can feel the heft. You can feel the quality. It's yeah. They're 11 inches tall. They're about four and a half inches. So a nice girth, a nice presence. But yes, they weigh four pounds. And so that's, you know, when you pick it up, it's like, it feels substantial. Yes. Definitely. Oh, absolutely. And and I just wanted to mention that because I think when you see a price and it's so very uh, affordable that you go, oh, those are going to be kind of, eh. when you get them at home or someone opens the box, I promise you, they will think you spent a fortune. Like you went into one of those really nice boutiques in a major city and it was all decorated with really expensive Christmas stuff and you're like, all right, I'm gonna get this really cool snow globe and you kind of winced paying for it. That's the kind of quality you're getting and you'll recognize that the minute you pull it out of that winter lane box. Then you turn it on and then the magic happens. By the way, if you don't want music, you don't have to have the music, you can have just the lights with the movement. And please remember too, these glow from within. This glow that you're seeing is not our lighting. No. It's literally the lighting that's inside that's that right. glows and really creates that uplighting magic. All right, here's an update. Almost 28 thousand have been ordered today. Now, why is that a big deal? Because at midnight tonight, this is going to jump to $49 and some change. Who wants to spend $20 more when you don't have to? And tomorrow we might have a few left, but trust me, we'll have a lot of people who will buy these at $49 because they're a really quick, beautiful, and thoughtful gift idea. But why would you do that when today, and it's only tonight, you can get it at our best price. Also, please remember, this is a huge deal if you're channel surfing. Buy all of your Christmas goodies today. Get them all in today because, and this we've never done this before, you can have everything shipped to you for five $1 bills total. Not five, 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 five $1 bills and everything you order from our Christmas collection will ship to you today. And I, you could order early, you could do it now. It all happens automatically. Also, our five flex pays on everything ends tonight at midnight. And what does that mean? 
five months to pay the stuff off, which is awesome. Any major credit card, we even accept PayPal. And so if you want to get our best deals, if you want to knock out a whole bunch of really great gifts, and I think this one is spectacular, if you want to be able to get your holiday decorating done, make sure you get it done today because it's our last big 24 hour deck the halls event. And with that free or the $5 shipping and the five flex pays, it's a very easy way to really get a lot of shopping done with us, which I, I love that. And it doesn't happen very often, quite frankly. So take advantage of it because tomorrow, guess what? This will be $5 to ship and this will be $5 to ship and this one and that one. And it'll be $49 um, and $49 and $49, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. At and least, it's going right. to cost $20 more. It, it, right. All right, really quickly, can I show auto ship, guys? Do I have two oh, seconds? Oh, what a great I option. Get, I didn't get it in yet, so I want to do it. The auto ship is, you were asking us that you wanted to have something that was not only every holiday, but definitely every season. Isn't this cute? All right, so here's what's going to happen. If you sign up for auto ship, you'll pick your one of four and two other designs have already sold out. And then, here we go, we'll do it quick. In March, you're going to get this beautiful spring angel. Then I love May. May is a gorgeous butterfly, and they all have different music. Then the mermaid. I love the mermaid. This is the July shipment. And then finally, you get the spooky Halloween. That's going to be in September. All right, Alexander is not going very far. We still have more and brand new items coming up. But here, I want you to check out Gotta Watch Thursdays. And by the way, I'm going to read a couple more community notes. You guys had a lot of fun with me on hsn.com, so we'll check that out in a moment. Amy Morrison. Join me, Colleen Lopez, for Gotta, Gotta Watch, Watch Thursdays. Thursdays. Amy Morrison here. Tis the season to look festive and chic. On The Beauty Report, discover great additions to your holiday beauty routine. And don't miss the exclusive launch of Lancome's newest item, Renergy Ultra. Then on the list with Colleen Lopez, get holiday party ready. Update your holiday wardrobe with great pieces from some of your favorite brands. There's no place like Gotta Watch Thursdays. Join the festivities Thursday at 7 p.m. Being a chef is the best job in the world. You can actually make people happy through food. The true goal of the Simply Mean Collection is bringing all my experience of cooking for the last 30 years to you at home to make you realize that anyone can do this. And it should not be a task or a job. There's pleasure involved in making food. You'll be amazed how easy it is to be a chef. Join Chef Ming Tsai on HSN. I think this next item is so special and it's so very, very unique. Uh, and what it is, it's from Winter Lane. It's our eight and a half inch musical lit moving scene and it's a dome. We have two choices. We have the woodland and then we also have the Santa scene, which really kind of is more like a cityscape if you ask me. Do yeah. I get that right? <laughs> well, it's That's a Santa it. because you can see Santa when oh, it comes there around. He is. He's in okay. the air. He's flying. He is taking off to do oh his job gosh, on Christmas gorgeous. Eve. He's right over the church. You can see the reindeer are flying. And so the little village is on the outside. And then as it, you know, winds in, you can see more of the trees, the reindeer, and then deep inside is the forest. Now the lights, you know, they're very, very bright. If if uh, if we can soften them just a little bit, I think a little bit more of the detail, yeah. uh, you'll be able to see a little bit more of the detail. But we're calling this technically Santa, but as you said, it does look like a village. And then here, you're deep in the oh, woods, there and we're we calling go. this woodland. Can now you see that? you're seeing it. Wow, that so looks this is wonderful. literally paper art. Um, it's it's a thick paper and it's all of the paper it's coated in like wow. a powdered um, almost like a glitter like a dusting like a of dusting, snowy glitter right it's like yeah. a dusting glitter so it gives the effect of a little snow inside now this doesn't have anything swirling or anything like that the magic is the look of the carousel effect of the village of the woodland turning about in the Santa Santa is there and in the woodland there are four red cardinals that are sitting on the little branches. I'm gonna turn this a little bit faster for you. 
that's that you can see. I mean, isn't that exquisite? You can see the deer or the stag or the buck, whatever you would like to call him, it's standing rabbits, there. You foxes. can see the rabbit, the fox, the little trees. Really beautiful and unique, no question. And remember when I mentioned, I, I, I don't know if I said it just uh, recently, how popular the globe and the dome that we're seeing the, the look of the cloche that is really making a resurgence in decor right now. So this is another interpretation of that particular trend that's happening now. I, I just think these are really sensational. And it's a completely, completely different look than you would expect in a traditional snow globe because it's just so very unique. Now, naturally it turns by itself. Yes. So it's slowly moving on its own. Yes. I've put it up on top of that base. Remember we featured that just a moment ago. So there's that base right there that's very limited now. And you can see I've just placed it on top and it's moving a bit faster. So if you wondered why. Suzanne <laughs> says to me, I don't know, oh, Alexander, faster. this one's moving faster than the other one. She says, oh, yes, okay, oh, it's that's on the right. base. It's on the base, <laughs> which moves faster. But anyway, again, we've got both of these choices. Already 900 have been ordered. And which is the most limited of the two, if you would? Oh, the woodland, which the woodland. totally understand yes, with that. the little cardinals. And wonderful sounds. Oh, I love that we've incorporated the music in almost everything that we've shared with you. The eight classic carols and Christmas songs that are beloved and that we enjoy. And uh, you'll, you'll love having this in your home as well. And here they are, Jingle Bells. We wish you a Merry Christmas, Silent Night, Deck the Halls, Joy to the World, The First Noel, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, and Old Christmas Tree. And I have to tell you, the audio is excellent. That really kind of surprising. It's very clear audio. Yes. It's not muffled. It doesn't sound grainy. It's very clear and quite charming, actually. It is charming. I love how it's illuminated. I mean, I love the, this whole look of using the LED lights in just the right way to make something that looks so genteel, that looks so delicate, and looks so lovely and simple, but it's illuminated just right so that all those little nooks and crannies in your home that are those little dark spots in our home that we want to have some illumination uh, or a little bit of ambient light, this is perfect. You can see this on a desk. You can see this on a shelf in your room. If you have a, a, a bookcase in your room or a bookcase where you're studying or where you're working, this is going to look so perfect. I, and I just think, once again, it's something you sit and you just get mesmerized by. You can't help but stare at it. It's so pretty. And this idea, it almost reminds me of Scandinavian artwork. Like it feels almost Scandinavian in its design. And it's the most delicate, what looks like, a, and it's definitely like a coated thick paper that's done in a twirl pattern all the way into the inside. So it has, I love the shadows on the outside. Yeah. And then as it moves towards the center, it gets brighter. I mean, There's such depth pretty? and drama to it. It is so pretty. I love how you're mentioning that it, all the cutouts, you know, yesterday yeah. we were looking at all the die cutting that was being done uh, on, I think it, well, on the crafting yeah. day. And this has that type of look, but very polished, very finished with Without, a, without question, listen to that loud. See, it's great. It's That's amazing. Wonderful. And then, you know, if you don't feel like hearing the music anymore, this is great if you're having a party, no question. You just flip this to the other side. I works with that. the timer, comes with the batteries, has the music, the LED lights. It turns on its own little built-in rotation that, that it's doing there. Has the look of a crystal cloche, but it is plastic with the metal with all of those uh, paper components on the inside. This is really lovely. I hope that you enjoy this. Oh, no, and I can't imagine you wouldn't. And what, it, again, we've talked about trying to find these great alternatives of gifts. This one has such a distinct look to it. It is unlike anything I've ever seen. And I've been very blessed to do Christmas shows for many, many years on a couple of different networks. And this is something that is truly special. It's one of those items, and I think we all search for this when we're trying to give the perfect gift, where they open the box and go, what is this? Then they turn it on and they go, oh my gosh, it's my favorite piece of decor in the house now. Because it just has something very special about it. It's got to be the open work. It's got to be the delicacy of the look of it. There's something so delicate and approachable with this and the drama of the scene is fantastic and I love the fact that it's clean white decorating I think it's there's something clean. chic about that yes I really I, I happen to love clean white decorating I could see this in my china cabinet I could see this in the white lacquered bookcase that I have in my room this would be absolutely perfect very unique and I love just the dot of the red cardinals mm -hmm. that are there and the cardinal was definitely a big hit uh, today and you also have that same little glittered shimmer going all the way around on the base you have this lovely tree 
trim. It stands eight inches tall, if you're wondering the size, about five, is it five and a half inches wide? It eight is. inches tall. Five and a half, yeah. Five and a half inches wide, the perfect size, but I'm gonna turn the music right back on again. You just turn that on right underneath because these are, <laughs> have to be the best speakers that we have in the whole area right now. <laughs> they really are amazing, actually. It's very clear, very crisp audio. Here's an update, though. 1,200 gone. I only have about 900 left. I know the Woodland is the most limited. Also, that's the most generic. So if you really want something you could have out all winter long, you could totally have that out all winter. That's not something you have to put away. This has Santa, but I'll tell you what's really funny is it looks like a whole um, village, and you can just see Santa right there with the reindeers on the one side. So at first glance, you kind of have to search for Santa in that one. But I do think the Woodlawn is one of those you can leave out all season long. Just again, an exceptional, unusual, new idea, something fresh, something different. And I know there's somebody on your list who will absolutely love that. All right, we're going to wrap it up. By the way, I got a couple more shout outs to some folks who joined me on Community and Facebook. Southern Light 55 said we start, oh, the question was, do you do indoor or outdoor decorating first? Which one, inside, outside? And they're answering. And this is Star Southern Light. She said, we start with the outside. We try to beat the weather and get our lights and decorations out before the snow flies. Uh, Kitty Anna, she said this on Facebook, she said the second week of November and I am into it and want to enjoy all the decorations for as long as possible. I love the Christmas spirit and I feel like it makes Thanksgiving even better when they're decorated. Macy said, hey Suzanne, enjoyed your shows, thank you. Since I live in the Northeast, the weather determines if I start decorating inside or out. I start the day after Thanksgiving and if the weather is mild, I get out and put up the lights, wreaths. I have a large fence that I decorate with garland and battery operated race. Oh, I bet that's pretty. Very cool. And I'm going to read some more. So thanks for you guys for playing along with me today on our community page and also on my HSN Facebook page. Okay. So I walked into the set and we have probably one of the prettiest holiday sets I've ever seen. I, I would love this to be my house, quite frankly. And the one thing that caught my attention, there were several things, but it was always something that had the glitter or the light. So we have this amazing lantern coming up and we have the neatest artwork that comes alive and it looks as good during the day and even better when the lights are on within the artwork. And these traditionally are some of our very very best, most popular offerings of the whole holiday season. Because whenever we do these, they always sell out. In fact, the deer version we had earlier is All already gone, gone okay? Yeah, yeah. So here's what I have remaining for this airing. We have three different choices. We have the angel, we have the snowman, and we have the Santa in flight. And again, boy, talk about really, like I can't help but look around the set and you just see that amazing artwork coming to life with the lights. Well, the theme is definitely illumination, holiday illumination and bringing in the light into your home. And nothing does it better than when you bring in the artwork into your home like what we have here today because... Look at how vibrant wow. and extraordinary each of these canvas prints are. If they did not have 120 fiber optic lights already built in, if it didn't have the LED backlight, if it wasn't framed, if it wow. was just by itself, that beautiful canvas artwork, it would be stunning and gorgeous. But the fact that each of our three prints, the Santa in flight, the angel and the snowman have a balance of the fiber optic light in that. just the right place, whether it's the twinkling trees okay. or the light is causing the lantern. It looks like there's a little candle that is flickering huh. inside the snowman's uh, little lantern there, that type of look. When you're looking here at the angel and she has a wonderful little candelabra with a candle on the end and just that perfect positioning of the LED light. And then of course, the spray of fiber optic that is all uh, all over her halo. Yeah. Um, it's really adorning her beautiful wings, her fluffy wings. And then, very unique, Santa taking flight. That's the so fiber cool. optic is kind of, you know that shh when he takes off and he's leaving kind of like an invisible trail? Well, that little trail is illuminated right underneath him. And look at the village down below. Right? And, the, and, and look at the little tree. There's I want to see if you could, if I turn it this way and you see oh the my. main tree in the village and then the light in the church and then the vibrancy of that beautiful night blue sky that clearly only the moon could could illuminate this way. 
Even now, the wreath is rotating the, the, color. The wreath is rotating as well. So the way these work, you'll pop in four AA batteries and you'll turn them on. And I'm going to pick this up and turn it around so that you can see. You just put the batteries right here. You turn it on. It's got the two little saw hooks so that you can hang this very easily. Oops. And the size on all three, all three are, you know, a profile or vertical um, uh, position, right? What was the word? I've lost the word all of well, a sudden. Well, they're vertical, not horizontal. Vertical? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're vertical, vertical, not horizontal. Mm -hmm. This wonderful profile, 19 and a half inches by 15 and three quarters, Three things that we added to 2017. We added the beautiful frame, we added the backlight, and we added a six hour timer. So on With the, the remote. <laughs> yeah, you've got the remote. We've had the remote just for on off, but now when you press the button, you press the little number six, and it will stay on for six well, hours. And I want you guys to see, I'm gonna start with this one, okay guys? I'm gonna start with this, because I want you to see, you look at it and you say, oh, it's illuminated. No, the whole thing is illuminated. <laughs> it's actually illuminated from the background. So if I do that, okay, now it's turned off. Now yes. watch what happens. I'm gonna turn it back on. And you see the whole wow. thing lights up. Wow. So there's an internal glow from the back. Now, when you see it, I'll do the angel. When you see the, the picture by itself, if you just walked up and saw this, and Stunning. It, it looks different when they have lights up, but this is a gorgeous picture. You have no idea this is all gonna light up. You have no clue, you can't even see the lights. And then when the timer comes on and you turn it on, look at how amazing that is. It glows from within, and yet when the lights are off, it just looks like a gorgeous print on a canvas. This is all done on canvas. And again, I love the snowman. I love the twinkle of the lantern and the twinkle of the star, but I'm going to turn this one off. And by itself, it's an amazing, great looking picture on your wall and you have no clue that all of this comes to life. But remember, when I turn it on, there, it's totally glows from within, from the background. So the whole thing glows and the light comes on and then you have the morphing lights in the tree, the skylight twinkles and the star over here has that golden glow as well. So, I mean, that's how magical this is. And it's funny because when you just see them in the daylight, they look like great holiday paintings. Like, oh man, that's an awesome looking canvas print you have oh that's so pretty it's well framed it looks awesome but then when the lights come on at night all of a sudden they really do come to life and I think that's why they've been so successful very successful very pretty and you can see in our lovely little vignette here above uh, the sideboard we have the snowman and we have the Santa Claus and I think from this angle you can see how the fiber optic that is you know kind of peppered in in just the right places do you see how it's kind of bouncing off of the canvas how that is going on and what else is really nice is the reason why it's backlit is because if you're in a space that's very, very dark, you would want to be able to still see the image. And because of that backlight, now not only are you seeing where the fiber optic lights are kind of sprayed throughout, but also the entire image is coming to life, not just where the light is actually going to be pointing out. Right. Isn't that nice? Yeah, and again, I think what this does is it makes a great gift. Maybe you know someone who lives in um, a smaller retirement area or they're in assisted living. They have their great little apartment or their room and they just can't have a big tree and they can't have all that zhuzh. Well, there's probably a bit of wall space that you can make magical for them. And it's very easy to operate, put on that six hour timer and forget about it. And not only is it a really pretty picture during the day, but it's really magical once all the lights come on. And again, create those great memories and those great happy thoughts for the future. Okay, I wanna show you hsn.com. We've had a lot of fun on community today and I wanna read a few more responses. So thanks guys for joining me on our community page. My question was, when do you start decorating? Do you do indoor or outdoor? Which one starts first? So here we go. This is from Diane. She says, I start decorating inside first. I have a huge Christmas village that takes about two weeks to put together. Ooh, two weeks. weeks. Wow. I leave it up until Valentine's Day. I sure would. <laughs> After the new year, it becomes my winter village as I take all the holiday pieces off of it. It's very festive once all it's all together and my family loves it. Ha ha. That's the whole point I was saying about your family will love it. Why? Because you're creating the special memories. They're not going to remember the present you bought them, but they will remember that village. Also, this is Joanne. Joanne's, Joanne is near and dear to my heart, and she has to send me a picture, please. She says, I start the 1st of December inside and out. I use my Cricut, which you don't know Cricut, you can see it on .com, to cut a paper village and use my village trees and snow to landscape. 
She cuts it with the Cricut. I love that. We have a very old figurines that are used for a nativity scene that we use wood palettes and we use uh, fake trees and it becomes pretty and very neat looking. Lights on our house and a couple of small trees. My husband does a fabulous job. We don't, oh, she says, we create. We love to create, which is awesome. Create. So thanks for, nice? yeah, and you can do that with a Cricut. All you right. You certainly can. We're in the dark because we want you to see just how amazing this next piece is. And it's so cool. This is something that's such an eye catcher. Right when you open it up the box and you turn it on, you can't help but fall in love with it. And it is our wonderful um, lanterns. Now, these I know have been very popular in the past, Alexander, when you brought them before. Well, we never brought this exact size. Now, right. when you're looking at the, the measuring, the ones that we had, they, they were about 11 uh, inches tall. These are just a little bit uh, smaller. These were about eight inches tall. And the width on this is about five and a half inches wide. But I just love that large, pain picture window that has the scene with the vibrant colors inside of the snowman and then same here the scene and the vibrant colors of santa but that is all the way it's it's totally 360 so cool. if i turn it to the side and if i turn it around look at how beautiful they are even in the back and of course what you really love is that it's got the swirling cascading shimmering look of the snow globe that you don't have to shake. Isn't that pretty? Now, both of these, it has the gold, maybe it's the silver, it's the silver shimmer cascading all around, but look at how vibrant and clear the light is. The solution inside with all of that shimmer inside and how beautiful the scene is with the Santa and the snowman. And that's your choices, Santa or snowman. Um, a couple things to remember, this is important. This is brand new, we've not introduced it until right now. And I gave everybody one little peek at it. I picked it up and said, this cool lantern's coming up and already almost 200 were pre-ordered. So if you are thinking about this one, I wouldn't wait very long. I've got a couple thousand available. And again, once many of these items are sold out, that's it for the holiday season. I mean, we bring in we bring in we're heading into the end of the holiday you know heading into the holiday season and we don't have time to ship more things in uh, like next month because we're too close to christmas right so now's the time if you're really going to get that unusual and very unique gift to certainly try it out five flex pays free shipping i explain this so what happens is we have five flex pays on all of our christmas goodies and that ends tonight at midnight so we're about an hour and 20 minutes away from that ending and that'll be a bummer when it's over because then it's regular flex, if any. All right, the other big, big deal is, no matter when you shop or how you shop, you will spend only $5 total to ship all your Deck the Halls order. That's massive, okay? Only $5, and you could have shopped at two in the morning or two in the afternoon or right now. Our systems totally calculate that. So $5 only. Now, why is that such a big deal? Because that also ends in an hour and 20 minutes. You gotta get everything in. If you saw some great items, I know we had a lot of great stuff all day long earlier, then order it now because that shipping offer ends in an hour and 20 minutes. And who wants to pay for shipping for every item if you don't have Nobody to? Nobody likes to pay for shipping. Shipping. So it's if like you can huge get lots of things and just pay for one small flat like fee, five it makes it so much better. Total. Right? And I then, love this. Isn't this pretty now? I'm holding the snowman. I just love, once again, that same weight. It's about it's four weighty. or five pounds. But I love the picture window. To me, it's all about this great, big, wide picture window. The clarity, how clear it is, and how vibrant the little scene on the inside is. Now, the snowman, he's by himself. He does have two little squirrels at the foot of his, uh, of his body there. He has his broom, the little sticks. I mean, really, when you come in, you can see all the of the cardinals. Is, isn't it pretty? See the little I love the cardinals. Too. And the cardinals are in both. So here, also in Santa, he's outside. The cardinals are there. And, and the cardinals are sitting on a little branch tree that is so pretty. You've got the Christmas trees. But look at that isn't magic. That cool? I mean... This is, this is really a stunning piece when you really look at how mesmerizing this is, and I am certain that the music turns on here too. And it's also automatic timer. So once again, you turn this on, six hours later it will turn off, and then the next day it comes back on and goes for six more hours. So it's no fuss. You know what else is really great about what Winter Lane does? Virtually everything we've shown in the last two and a half hours, you don't have to plug in. So you're yeah, unlimited of where you can put Look, this. If you, you want, want to set this. this on a windowsill, can you imagine? Because it's thin enough to put on a windowsill, putting one of these in each of your front windows on the sill, and again, it turns on at night, you 
you pull up to your house and say, oh, isn't that fabulous? Or again, because it's very thin, can you imagine just on the back, if you go into your bathroom and you have it back on the toilet bowl, again, create that magic to that space. Uh, it's gonna let you do that. I love the fact that it's not a round lantern because I think you have a lot more opportunity to place it places this than you would if it was round. I agree. I, I like that it's so narrow. It's about mm -hmm. two and a half inches wide. It looks like it's metal, but it really is plastic. But the way that they created this so that it's maximum opportunity for you to really see and enjoy the really idyllic scene that is going on inside. The snowman you will leave out the entire winter. Santa, you can have him around as much as you want, but you know, re what really moves you? Is it the snowman? Is it Santa? Or both? I mean, when something looks this beautiful, I mean, I can't help it. I would feel like I would want both. And I know exactly where in my family room I'm going to put this. Yeah. Because I, I feel like the family room, I, I don't know, I just didn't really decorate as much as I could. So this, you know, where we have the television, put two right there, that's going to look fantastic. And not to mention, it works as a little nightlight because our puppy and the, and the bunny so both cute. sleep in there. And so now our pets have a little nightlight and you'd probably like one for your pets as well. Well, I think too on the, the table side. I mean, if you're on, you know, in your bedroom and again, you're talking about those places that are sort of void of decorating. Yes. Our bedrooms normally, we don't have a lot of Christmas decorations in there and you kind of don't know, maybe pillows, throw a few pillows in the bed and change the sheets and the comforter and you're like, okay, that's it. But this would be really beautiful and charming and wonderful beside the bed. Also, I'm all about creating memories for your family members. You know, if you have grandkids that come to visit, put it beside their bed when they go to sleep. They can, they literally will fall asleep dreaming of sugar plums and all that good <laughs> stuff because grandma's making these happy memories for them. And I said this much earlier and I think it's so true. You know, I don't remember what I got when I was eight year old, when I was eight years old uh, for Christmas. But you know what I do remember? I remember what my grandma and my grandpa did and what mom and dad did because they all really loved Christmas and they loved to celebrate it. I remember very vividly how my mom decorated and the special touches that my dad did. And my dad always had to have a big tree and it was a big live tree. It was just beautiful. And we remember those things. We don't remember the sweater. You know, we don't remember the toy or the game. Um, we remember things like this. That's what we grow up. And those are the things that are frozen in our mind. And I think this is nostalgic, but I think it's very updated with this really cool design as opposed to being a traditional lantern. It's much more uh, modern. It's wonderful because it does fit in those little sliver of spaces that seem lonely at the holidays. They do. <laughs> and it's because of the width and the size and it feels like there's so much going on to look at. Suzanne, That's we're so sitting pretty. here and these are sitting here, but I can't help myself. I want to take out greenery. Mm -hmm. I want to take out, you know, the wooden trays that we use for charcuterie oh, and we serve meat and cheese and things like that. Great. I want to take a tray and put it down, put some greenery on it and put this right there in the middle or on the edge, add a little bit of light because then the gal that wrote the beautiful note to you, mm -hmm. and she was talking about, it's all about everything that she creates on her own. What is her name? Her name was, it, I will not find that, it, uh, not, Marcy. Marcy, was, was that her name? That she creates things? I love the idea of creating mm -hmm. those little places in no, my Joanne. home. No, Joanne, it was Joanne. 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 Joanne likes to create. And the reason why you like to create, especially around this time, is because that's the holiday. Mm -hmm. It's the Saturday evening, you don't have plans, you're having a glass of wine or you're having uh, a cup of coffee, you're putting out your decorations, and that's not stress. It's enjoyment for those of us who love to take care of our homes, who love to decorate, who enjoy, who kind of live for all of this and enjoy it so much. That is the holiday. It's not just that day or even a week. It's really the few weeks leading up to it. You're taking this out and then you want to customize it. I'm going to put a beautiful gold bow on this, a beautiful Pretty. gold glitter bow where, you know, there's still a little bit of glitter falling all over and enjoy myself as I do that. The music is playing, my family is home to me. Those are the holidays, and uh, that's the time of year that I love. All right, so I want to update you because now 1,100 ordered just this hour. This is one of the items that were saved specifically for our big wrap-up. If you would like the snowman, which is so winter-friendly, there are 800 left, so that's on its way to selling out. I have a bit more in the snow in the uh, Santa Claus. Um, remember, the snowman is on its way to selling out? That's almost gone, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, and okay. just FYI, it's got an automatic timer, so once you set it, you don't have to worry about it. Don't Just let it go, and then every night it's going to turn back on at whatever time you originally turned it on. So it's a very easy way to do that. All right, I'm going to read a couple more notes because everybody's been so generous. Um, this is, let's see... 
Doug, Doug said on Facebook, start outside while the weather is decent, usually around the end of November. Happy holidays to all at HSN. Why, thank you, Doug, so That's much. So nice, Doug. Um, also, let me see, I wanna make sure I get them all in, because I promised I would. Oh, no, 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 no. I have to ask you, oh, when do you start to decorate? Well, my husband has a new uh, thing this year. <laughs> he he said, you know what? I waited too long last year. Okay. And he absolutely, we love, 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 he does this A-frame of lights. I explained it on the community page. I did talk about this. And, uh, oh yeah, this is my hubby. This is Craig. This is Craig. He is vowed. He just said it the other day. He goes, I'm putting up the decorations this weekend. Because he's it. like, I just really want to enjoy them for as long as I can. And he does a really good job at the outside decorations. Then I'm in charge of the inside. That's so how we of course, do it. I'll wait a little longer. But yeah. Craig is vowed. He said, nope, I'm putting them out this weekend because I want to be able to enjoy them for the max time. So thank you, honey. Uh, Marcy said, hey, Suzanne, enjoy the show. Since I live in the Northeast, the weather determines if I start decorating inside or out. Everybody's saying that. She starts wow. the day after Thanksgiving. If the weather is mild, I get out and put up the lights, Reese. Uh, and then I also have Diane. I'll make sure I get them all. I start decorating inside first. Huge Christmas village. We talked about that one. Oh, I want to make sure I get them all. Oh, four foot nut tray. We start on the outside, try to beat the weather and our lights and decorations out before the snow flies. Oh, that was Southern Lights. I think I got them all. How about that? Oh, he, no, Kitty Anna is with me. The second week of November, November. I'm into it and want to enjoy all the decorations for as long as possible. I love the Christmas spirit. Isn't that lovely? I remember sitting down on the sofa and I spent like, I don't know, three weeks in a row making about 150 little silver bows to put all over the tree. And I just remember <laughs> sitting down, the music's playing, my, my daughter would come in and out and just tie and make all bows. of those little bows. Right. <laughs> that was the holidays for me. All right, we'll see you in just a few. We're okay. not done yet. We still have another hour and 10 minutes in our big Deck the Halls finale. But but coming up, we have one of the most iconic, iconic images of all times. If you ever go on a cruise, or if you ever go down to the Caribbean islands, and you're gonna see this, it's the Tortuga six piece, and this is a rum cake gift set. I had this on the air the other day. What we had in stock, completely sold out. We were able to bring just a little bit back for tonight's show, but you've seen it, and you do not have to go to the Caribbeans to be able to enjoy it. We've got it coming up in a really beautiful, beautiful six pack with six different flavors. It's right around the corner. It is the season. It's the holidays at HSN. And this year we're celebrating 40 years of Mary. We've gathered all the things you need to make it the best holiday yet with something for everyone on your list. More gifts. Yes, please. Gifts for him. Gifts for her. A few for you. Gifts for kids. Gifts under 50. And exclusive finds you won't see anywhere else. Spend the holidays with friends. More is always merrier. More gifts, more brands, more friends, more merry. What makes a woman beautiful? Happiness. Yes, and energy. Happiness is the most attractive form of beauty. The one that comes from deep within. Discover Renergy Lift Multi-Action to visibly tighten all facial zones, see younger-looking skin, feel more beautiful. This is what makes people remember you. Renergy Lift Multi-Action. Only by Lancome. So our Deck the Halls continue. Hey, I'm Suzanne Runyon, and I want to thank everybody who joined me on Facebook and on the community page. We really got some great comments, but I would love to hear from you. So give me a little ring. Just, I'm just saying, give me a call over the phone and say hello and let us know what you've enjoyed so much about our day today. Well, the next item up makes six pretty darn amazing gifts. And it truly is one of those images that the instant you see it, it totally takes you away to a whole different place and that would be the Caribbeans, of course. This is the famous Tortuga rum cakes. And we are so excited because we have the six pack back. Now what happened was I was on, uh, I wanna say about a week ago, and we did the six pack. And during that airing, we sold out of everything we had. It was completely gone in one single airing. We were able to get and I'm talking about a teeny little handful back. And now we have it back. And it's literally six in one case or, well, six individuals. So they make six really delicious, amazing gifts. So we got to get busy and tell you all about it. And to do that, I have Lindsay Stewart. She's the brand ambassador. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Suzanne. So good to see well, you. Well, it was funny because the other day I was all sad faced because I was like, oh man, we did sell out of the six packs. So you right. guys just brought in a little sliver of them we for us We did. We did. We didn't want to leave anyone hanging for the holidays. Yes. We know how much <laughs> our HSN viewers love Tortuga rum cake, as they should. Mm -hmm. You know, this 
company is known all over the islands, all over the Caribbean. This is the company that makes rum cake that we know and accept uh, award-winning year after year because of the taste and the freshness mm -hmm. made with rum aged for five years in an oak barrel, each cake hand brushed. Mm. So you may like to cook in the holidays and bake and do all these things and have wonderful traditions, but you will never be able to duplicate the taste of Tortuga rum cakes. It's just that exquisite. Because literally the owner um, created the rum originally, right? I mean, that, the yes, the it's rum. the same company. It's award-winning Tortuga rum, mm -hmm. and you know, Monique was here, here last week. Who's the daughter? That's right. Mm -hmm. It's Mrs. Hamati that came up with the recipe that the company has been using for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. It's the same recipe, and it's just so iconic. Like, Absolutely, you could, you could travel to anywhere in the world, and if you see this logo, you instantly know. I know that. You I know, know that rum, Suzanne. People <laughs> stop me all. All the time. I, I've been to huge food trade shows at the Javits Center in New York with thousands of people and people would <laughs> run up to me and say, oh my goodness, Tortuga rum cake. I had it on a cruise. I had it on vacation. It's so amazing. Do you have any? Do you have any samples? <laughs> <laughs> please, please give me some. All right, let's explain the six flavors that we're getting in this Absolutely. set. Absolutely. So we are getting the chocolate. We're getting the golden original award winning year after year, coconut, pineapple, banana, and key lime. Mm. And I will tell you, this is the best opportunity at this price to try all of these wonderful flavors. What a great gift on its own in the tower, ready to go, stick a bow on it, or separate it, and you have six gifts knocked out the way. Mm -hmm. Also, great stocking stuffers. They moves. could slide right. <laughs> they could slide the right in. <laughs> I, had to, I did the same thing. I was like, which one's not stuck down? <laughs> but it's just so iconic. Anyone who has been to the islands and had it, oh, they know. They yeah. know the taste. And if you hadn't haven't had it, look at the reviews on HSN.com. There's hundreds of reviews yeah. of people saying things like, you know, I don't like rum, I don't like alcohol, but I can't get enough of these delicious cakes. All right, so 3,000 ordered. We're down to the final 800, and then that's it for the big uh, event. I'm and it makes some. really six beautiful gifts and something everybody does recognize. Yes. Because you see that box and you see that famous logo. You've seen it elsewhere. We had one caller so when Monique was here, and she was so cute. She said, when I go away, and I, she travels to the Caribbeans a lot, she said, everybody places orders with me for the Tatuga rum cakes. Yeah. And, and she goes, I have to go. And then she buys them all and then she brings them back and then she gives them to everybody because they literally know she's going down to the Caribbean and they love <laughs> them so much. So we were laughing because we said, there's no need to have to travel. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars yeah. and go on a cruise. Just by having that, you're bringing that flavor, that taste, that moistness, the authenticity of the original and of the most famous in the world in this six pack. Well, you know, I'm going to try the chocolate. And it really just takes you back. Heart yeah, heart. let me give you a, a plate if you Thank want or you, you can dear. be like me and just use your fingers like I've been doing all day because I can't help myself but you know what when you cut into this look at this you guys oh my goodness you can just so moist. tell it's so moist and so fresh mm -hmm. and you know what that is look the that. fresh oh. ingredients that we use every day these cakes are baked fresh in the Caribbean in Jamaica in, in, in uh, Cayman baked fresh every day with fresh eggs Oops. fresh <laughs> butter fresh coconut from the islands, fresh oh. ingredients. The only thing here imported are the British walnuts on the golden original. Mm. But everything, the freshest ingredients from the islands, and you can really taste that. Oh my gosh. The rum is a natural preservative. Yeah, that's right. So we don't have preservatives and other things mm. keeping this cake fresh. The rum is doing it. Each cake vacuum sealed. So you can have them indefinitely. Oh, that's awesome. So that's awesome. what makes it such a great so gift. So they have an indefinite shelf life. Abs well, when frozen, yes. But uh, for a year without even being frozen. Get out of here. If you don't open it, it stays fresh because the rum is just keeping it moist, mm. fresh, and delicious. I'm going to eat some more. And I'm telling you what, you will taste it. It is such a burst of mm -hmm. delicious flavor. I always call it like technicolor because mm -hmm. you totally taste it. And it's very moist and it's not sicky sweet. That's the other thing. You know, sometimes you eat some, some stuff that's like a, a really heavy, di heavy duty like fudgy cake and you're like, oh my God, yeah, that's really a right. lot of sweetness. There is this wonderful balance 
of flavors to moistness to That's the right. ingredients. And it's interesting because it's so well made. I always talk about it tasting like notes of a perfume where yes. you can really sense and taste individual notes of flavor. Absolutely. And so it's a, this lovely experience yes. from top to bottom when you're eating. I it. almost feel like the whole process of the rum being aged in the oak barrel for five years brings so much flavor to this cake. Mm. That's why there's nothing like this all over the world to win awards internationally, not just here in the United States, not just in the islands, Tortuga Rum Cake wins awards across the board. Right. And it is because of that perfect balance of rum and other ingredients that has been going strong for over 30 years. Well, and you can really tell the freshness. In fact, mm -hmm. what you're ordering now is going to be made. <laughs> you know, you're not getting something that's, that's right. sitting on shelves for no. months and months and years and years. It's not being transported in tons of trucks and it takes 10 weeks out to be able to get it there. What you order tonight, they're gonna to be producing and then sending to you. So you really are getting the fresh of the freshness. I have been talking to them all day because they, you have. this has been my fourth show and they wanna know, they wanna know what they have to bake and what they have to ship out. So Well, and it's funny because when we sold out of this exact six pack, it was probably like a week ago, that was yeah, it, like last week. It was. We thought, okay, that's it. And eventually what's interesting is they're gonna tell us when they can't ship anymore. Mm -hmm. There comes a certain point where they they have to stop because number one, they're too busy for the holidays and number two, it's they're making it fresh. And that's what we all want. Now remember, if you get it now, and it's gonna sit for a few weeks, it doesn't matter. No. So if you're gonna hold it and say, hey, I've got to, I know I have several little get togethers and yeah. I wanna take one as a hostess gift, or I'm gonna be going to someone's house and I wanna hand it to them and say, thanks for letting us stay the night. These have a phenomenal shelf life, but unfortunately, we have about 300 sets left and then it's completely sold out. And please remember, you can do the whole thing. Yes. Which I think is great, mm -hmm. but more important, Take one out for yourself and give the other five away. And again, we have six different flavors that are very distinct. Yes, we have the chocolate, the golden original, the coconut, pineapple, key lime, mm. and banana. My personal favorites are the pineapple and the key lime and the chocolate. Um, and you can never go wrong with the original. No, I was going to say my favorites are the original yeah. and the chocolate. Those are my two. I mean, I'm, I'm even going to... I'm having this on my birthday in a few weeks, so you know, I mean, I, I'm... <laughs> left I asked her to she said I go gosh that's interesting because you're not sick of it you know you would think actually no. working with the product mm -hmm. and being so involved in it you'd be over no. it after a while my family hounds me every time I come here my husband has been calling and texting non-stop like <laughs> did you get some cake did you are you gonna bring back some rum cake or give me, I'm like get, get, um, leave me alone <laughs> you know. but, and you don't have to go to the Bahamas you don't have to go to the Caribbeans to be able to bring the iconic brand you can't walk into a gift store you cannot be on a cruise this is without seeing this 